Disaster zones and battlefields can be difficult, confusing places. Medics make quick decisions about triaging the wounded. Some life-threatening injuries are obvious, but if a soldier is bleeding internally, there's no easy way to tell. So there's kind of a gradual response where your body compensates, followed by a sudden decompensation. Dr. Michael Joyner and his research team at Mayo Clinic are studying how the body responds to blood loss. The purpose of this experiment is to help the Army develop better monitors to determine who needs a transfusion and who doesn't need a transfusion in battlefield or trauma situations. Triaging the wounded can be difficult because when someone loses blood, vital signs such as blood pressure and heart rate don't change much until the victim suddenly collapses. So what we're trying to do is determine if, if we can predict uh, when the vital signs are becoming unstable. So they can intervene in time and save lives. The study, funded by the Department of Defense, includes two phases. First, the research team slowly and in a very controlled manner removes blood from a test subject. We're going to take about a liter of blood. That's about 20 percent of total blood volume. And that is typically uh, about where some people start to decompensate. Then they put the blood back in and start phase two. This involves putting the test subject into a negative pressure box. The negative pressure makes it difficult for blood to flow back to the heart, so it pools in the legs. The amount of blood that reaches the brain and heart decreases, mimicking blood loss. The researchers say if the body responds to the negative pressure the same way it responds to actual blood loss, they can do more experiments without having to take blood from patients' bodies. The information they gather will be used to develop monitoring devices that will hopefully help determine who needs immediate medical attention on and off of the battlefield. So that when we're working with trauma victims or people in the operating room, we can figure out who needs blood when. And the goal is to make sure the patients do well during surgery and to make sure that we give blood to the right patient when and don't give too much blood or too little. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.